What's up, everybody? So, um, today, I was thinking that I would see what happens when I try to draw with cereal. I, I thought of, um, about two different ways to do this. One way was, like, you know how people draw with salt and sugar? Like, kind of spread that out? Um, I was thinking that would be one way I'd do it. Shut up, alarm. Another way is, um, I've seen cereal boiled and that's probably that's the worst idea that's the worst option and so i've seen cereal boiled and i was thinking if i make it like a paste to paint with don't know how well that will work but so we'll see how that goes the question is what do i use to grind up the cereal Tomato. I'm just kidding. We're gonna use this. For that like cereal paste though, actually blending probably would be a good option. Maybe combine in some milk with that. Not that I have any experience with it. Now, many of you might not know this, but this was actually used with ancient cereal masters. They would make their own art and display it on caves. And I wasn't even looking at the camera for that. So yeah, like I was saying, actually grind it up in here, just like you do with paints in this baking thing. And yeah, they would, they would make their own art. So I hope to live up to their expectations. What do we have for cereal? Ah yes, one of the finest. Is there Sivr skit. Ah yes, one of the finest. Et S. But more commonly known as Rice Krispies. Just had to turn the camera around. And we also have... Special Cakes. But the strawberry flavor... The strawberry flavor Special Cakes are a personal favorite of mine. And I do like Rice Krispies as well. Now we're gonna see how well they can make art. Cause they're already good at tasting good. So. So let's see if they grind up nicely and do a nice powder. Let's start with Rice Krispies. enough. Excellent. That's in there. Now it is time to make a powder. somewhere. Every bit counts. <laughs> Guys, look, it's flour. And it's cereal. I wonder what would happen if you bake with like cereal flour. Probably it wouldn't work very well. But I mean, who knows? Yeah. Let's see that result. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Now it's important to be very careful when pouring it. We got one palette color. I 
as Ariana Grande would say, thank you, next. Cereal box. Now we got Red Berry, Special K. See, the nice thing about this is I'm actually gonna get like two, two different shades, which will be really nice for the drive. Jumping in, in, jumping in, I don't know how much to do. Guys, is that enough? I don't, I don't, I don't know, I haven't done this. I'm gonna say it is, and pretend I know what I'm doing. That's looking pretty nice, not gonna lie. Almost there. I gotta get like different, I could make like, we got like Nesquik, we get a nice like brown, nice burnt umber close to it. This is basically the thing you crush up pink pigments with, you know? Alright, now let's check this one. Look at that shade. Pretty nice. These are actually like much nicer colors than I thought they would be for cereal. All right. I really wish I had Nesquik now because these are like, these are like good, like skin tone area colors. And if I had Nesquik, I could get the darkest dark. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Now. We shall go to the art studio. Alright, so let's check out this art studio. That is way too messy. Alright, so let's check out this art studio. Keep your art studio so it's clean. Wow, how do you do it? Great question, thank you. Um, so I'm a naturally organized person, like with when it comes to all my artwork. I have I have like lots of cubbies for all my art supplies. As you can see, um, I have everything nice and organized over here. And I also have um, a nice little compartment for you know everything. So yeah, that's, it's really important to keep a nice, like, tidy space, tidy space, tidy mind, you know? So there's my school schedule. Keeping a schedule really helps me keep on top of things, especially since I'm, like, in the online school right now. So it's, like, it's good to just write out a schedule and put it on a chalkboard because chalkboards suck and I don't want to use the chalkboard for a schedule place it on the corner, you know? So the end result turned out pretty nice, I think. Uh, this is a picture of me in a mask. I decided to leave out my eyes, because I think it added to the aesthetic and had some pops of the color of the Special K uh, on the sides. Now that a photo has been taken, it 
it's time to say goodbye. Because this is one of those where you can't keep it around. Or you could have if you put like glue down, but I didn't. I didn't think of that. Oh well. And there it goes. Blink how yeah. Blink canvas and ready for the next option. So I still have quite a bit left over from that. I definitely made too much. So I'm thinking I'll use that for this uh, cereal paste that um that I'm gonna try to make. Right here we are at the blender. <clears throat> Not sure how much to do for uh, milk ratio. Uh -huh. Let's try. Got a cup of milk. Looks like the bag was already empty. Actually, a cup though, it's a half a cup. I'm gonna see what kind of consistency that gets when I blend it. Moment of truth, everyone. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Definitely not enough milk. It's all sticking. Can't take it off right now without it going everywhere. Look at that. Any of you um use like this part of a blender and fill it up without putting the cap in the bottom? Because I've done that before. And then I realize when I'm sliding it off the counter. And then yeah, and then it's screwed. Try this again. Okay. That's a better consistency. Still might be a little thick though. I think it looks great. So, we have the cereal paint of sorts. Yeah, I ended up going with blending because it was just much better choice. Yeah, stir it up a little bit. That's what it looks like right now. <laughs> it looks like it just turned into oatmeal. Now, if you don't think cereal is already a soup, then you add more milk to this and you got a cereal soup right there. Check it out. It's not the smoothest thing, but it will work to paint with. And you can eat the paint too.
And that is the video. So, what did I learn from this process? Using cereal powder works pretty well. Not many complaints. Uh, I could have crushed it up a little bit more. It was still a little bit bigger chunks. And that did kind of mess with my art a bit. But other than that, it worked pretty well. And it was a fun experience. Unfortunately, not one that I could hang up. I had to, I had to dump it off. Maybe if I do it next time, do some glue on it, then I would be able to keep it now. In terms of the cereal paint, or cereal paste. Yeah, you know, it definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It, it is not as easy as paint to use, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> I had much better results. Like, it has no business being this well done for what it was. I don't know if I would do that one again. If I did, I would put even more liquid in. I did adjust the liquid amount a bit as I was starting to do the art because as I was, I was going along with it, it was just getting pretty hard to move. It was still pretty stiff. So I, I did fix, I did fiddle around with the liquid a bit. This one is now up on the wall of heroes along with all the other cereal art pieces. It has a bit of a twist to the cereal art, this one. This is literally cereal art. I want to give a great big thank you to the amazing brand Kellogg's for having pretty nice shades of cereal when you crush them up. There were actually some good skin tones there. And if I had Nest, like I so wish that I had Nesquik, like I think I would do it again with Nesquik because um, I had some Nesquik then I just had that darkest tone because I had like a lightest light color and I had like a good mid tone. So if I had a darker tone, then I'd be pretty set. But again, I would definitely have another shade. A Nesquik, I think, would be perfect for that. If any of you happen to want to do this at home, I suggest doing the powdered cereal version. It's just much easier to work with in general. And if you really want to try this though, uh, yeah, make sure you just have enough liquid and try to get as close to the consistency of paint as you can. Even then, I don't know if it would help that much, Maybe you could add in some different paint materials to play around with it a bit. But I wanted it to be as authentic as possible, so I did only milk and cereal. I just want to say too, this video is not sponsored, um, unless. And you can't get this shirt anywhere. But I mean, I, I think it's pretty cool though. Take care everybody. Why do I put it on his head? It doesn't fit. <laughs>